Hi, this is Chris Bin from the Math Salamanders, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you all about Venn diagrams, what a Venn diagram is, and I'm going to go through a few simple examples so you can get the hang of it. So, um, a Venn diagram then, you have um, a rectangle usually, which represents our universal set, this is the outside and part of the Venn diagram. Inside the Venn diagram, um, you have usually some other sets which are usually circles, in this case this particular set is a set of even numbers um, and as I said the universal set is where everything that you're sorting has to go. So let's sort this these set of numbers first. Our first number to sort is number 13. 13 is not an even number so it goes inside the universal set but not inside the even number set. 5 again is an odd number, so it doesn't belong in the even number set, so it goes in the universal set outside the even number set. Number 10 is even, so that goes into our even number set. 2 is also even, and it goes. 16 is also even, because it ends in a 6, and 6 is even. And finally 7 is an odd number, so that again goes in our universal set outside the even number set. And that is our first example with a simple one circle Venn diagram. Let's look at something a bit more traditional, trickier. In this example here, we have a two circle Venn diagram. Um, in this set, this is the set of boys, this is the set of blue eyes, and you'll notice there's an intersection part here. And anything in the intersection of these two circles means that it is in both of these two sets. We also have our universal set where everything that's sorted needs to go. So the first child that we're going to sort is a boy called James who has got blue eyes. So James is going to go inside the intersection of the two sets because he has he is both a boy and has blue eyes. Our next child to sort out is another boy who's got brown eyes this time. So Mike is going to go here because he is a boy, but he doesn't have blue eyes, so he can't go in the intersection, he just goes in the, the boy set. Um, the next child is a girl called Mia, who has green eyes. So Mia is not a boy, and she doesn't have blue eyes, so Mia goes in the universal set outside of the other two sets. Um, Sophie is another girl with blue eyes this time. So Sophie, she isn't a boy, but she does have blue eyes, so she goes in the blue eye set, but not in the intersection. Um, our next child to sort is a boy called Harry with blue eyes. He again has got both of those properties, so he goes in the intersection of those two sets. And our last child is a girl called Kate who's got brown eyes. So again, Kate has neither of those properties. She doesn't belong in either of those sets, so she goes into the universal set outside the other two. And that is our short video on what a Venn diagram is and how they work. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we also have another video on three circle Venn diagrams if you want to look at something a bit more challenging. But I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching.